क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वेरियस प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन वेरियस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ जे फिट द इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर आर नथिंग बट ट्रांस कंडक्टर्स एम्पलीफिकेशन फैक्टर देन ड्रेन करंट हाउ टू कैलकुलेटेड बाई यूजिंग वॉट फॉर्मुलाज सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक Before going to start with the problem, first let's summarize few formulas related to the various characteristics of JFET. So first of all, let's find out the formula for obtaining value of drain current. So the formula for ID is ID equals to IDSS into one minus VGS upon VGF of whole square. Now the transconductance GM or GMO is obtained by using formula minus two IDSS upon VP. and the amplification factor is obtained by using formula rd into gm by using these formulas we can find out the various characteristics of n channel or p channel gf so let's understand how to use these formulas in the problem so the statement of first problem is for a gf idss is equals to 50 milliampere g vgs of is equals to minus 5 volt find out id for vgs is equals to 0 volt minus 1 volt and minus 4 volt here we need to find out the drain current for different values of vgs we know the formula of id as id is equals to idss into 1 minus vgs upon vgs of whole square here the various values of vgs are given so by substituting this various values we can easily obtain the various values of id so let's find out the value of id now let's find out id for vgs is equals to 0 volt here the value of vgs is 0 volt divided by vgs of is minus 5 volt so for vgs is equals to 0 volt we obtain id as 15 milliampere only now let's consider another value of vgs that is minus 1 volt so here we obtain id as 9.6 milliamperes now let's take next value that is minus 4 volt as vgs So for VGS is equals to minus four, we obtain ID as zero point six milliampere. So this is how we can obtain the value of ID for different value of VGS. Now let's take another example to understand the problems in more detail. The statement of second problem is a JFET has VP equals to minus two volt, ID S is equals to one point five five milliampere, ID equals to zero point eight milliampere, VDD is equals to twenty four volt. Find out VGS and GM. In order to find out VGS, we are going to use the formula of ID only. So the formula of ID is nothing but ID equals to IDSS into one minus VGS upon VGS of the whole square. But here, instead of giving value of VGS of, value of VP is given. So in, instead of using VGS of, we can use VP also. So first, let's find out the value of VGS by using formula of ID. Here, instead of using VGS of, we are going to use VP. So value of ID, IDSS, VP is given, and we need to find out the value of VGS. So value of VGS is obtained as zero point five six volt. Now next thing is to find out value of GM and for GM the formula is minus 2 IDSS divided by VP so the value of GM is obtained as 1.55 milliampere per volt so this is how we can calculate the value of transconductance for JFET now let's take another example the statement of problem is for JFET IDSS is equals to 8 milliampere VP equals to minus 4 volt VGS is equals to minus 1 volt find out ID GM and GM So here we are going to find out ID by using IDSS and VP and VGS. In this problem also instead of giving VGS off they have mentioned the value of VP as minus 4 volt. So for finding out ID we use the formula IDSS into 1 minus VGS upon VP the whole square. So the value of ID is 4.5 milliamperes. Now next thing is to find out GM and GMO. We know that GM is equals to GMO. that is transconductance and it is obtained by using the formula that is gm is equals to minus 2 idss upon vp so we obtain gm as 4 milliamperes so these are the problems which are based on the various characteristics of jfet that is finding out transconductance finding out vgs finding out id for different values of vgs so i hope you understand this topic so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ekira subscribe ekira thank you